Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to explain the circular motion. So let's start with defining the angular displacement. So we all know that the circumference sorry, of a circle is 2 pi times r. r here is the radius. The radius. Okay? So what if I am looking for the circumference of that arc, for example from A to, to B. Suppose I have something moving from A to B and I want to calculate the circumference from A to B. It's going to be the angle, the angle between A and B times the radius. So the angle will be the circumference of that arc over the radius and this is what we call the angular displacement and it describes the angle through which the uh, body, certain body is moving from A to B and this is measured by in degrees or radians The angular speed. Let's suppose we have a body or object S moving around that circle and I want to calculate the angular speed from A to B. So we all know that the linear speed is the distance over the time taken. Here is pretty much the same, but instead of a distance, we have the angular displacement is the angle between A and B over the time for the angular displacement to take place which is T2 minus T1 you can just write T so it's the uh, angular displacement over T we write omega omega is the, the angular displacement over this is the angular angular speed in this part we are going to link the period and the frequency with the angular speed let's first try to define let's first try to define the period period is denoted as t for example this, suppose this car is traveling around that circle. The time will take to do one cycle around is what we call period. For example, if that period was one second, so it's going to take, this car will, will take one second to travel around that circle it's suppose it's three seconds so it will, it will take like one two and three seconds to do one cycle this is the definition of the period period on the other hand the frequency is defined as inverse of the period and it describes how many cycles you can do in one second the unit of the frequency is hertz hertz we can also write second to the power negative two but most often we use hertz okay so the frequency is how many cycles you can do in one second in one cycle sorry so if the my frequency was two hertz which means i can do two cycles this is cycle one cycle two in just one one second okay this is the definition of the frequency 
third question is how can we relate the angular speed oh my god and the period and the frequency how yeah, can we relate this this and this so let's start with the definition of the angular speed angular speed is equal to angular displacement over time and the period is the time taken for our body to make one cycle so if we can relate this with this it's easy omega is equal to the time or the angle for a <clears throat> for our body to make one cycle is 2 pi and the time taken for our body to make a cycle is the period very good. So the period is going to be 2 pi over the angular speed. This is the first relationship. And uh, we know also that the frequency is equal to 1 over period. So the angular speed is going to be 2. pi times f the frequency so now we have, we have related angular speed with the period and with the frequency for more videos please subscribe to my channel academy for sciences thank you